Sharing files in between devices like smartphones, tablets, computers can be a little bit cumbersome. I showed you already various different solutions for this and what I want to show you right now is the speed of those solutions. So we are taking a look at Huawei Share, KDE Connect, Nearby Share and Snapdrop. So let's get started and welcome. First we want to try out Huawei Share, which obviously is working with Huawei devices. So I have my uh, Mate 40 Pro here and want to transfer this uh, approximately uh, one gigabyte file. As you can see here, 1.10 gigabyte file. I want to transfer it over to the Mate Pad Pro, which is running Harmony OS. So what we have to do is like go to Share we have to be in the same network. I have to enable Huawei Share here. And then my MatePad Pro is popping up. And what I will do right now is start also a stopwatch with my phone in the back. And I show you how quick it goes to um, transfer the file. So one, two, three, go. So it's transferring the file over and we can probably see something here as well. And this is 16.52 seconds that it needed for transferring this 1.10 gigabyte file. So now we want to share this file from the MatePad Pro via KD Connect to my Xperia 5 Mark II. So I have KD Connect already connected both devices. What I have to do now is like go in here, click on Share, click on KD Connect, and then choose the device. And I will press, of course, at the same time with my Xperia 1 Mark II that has the stopwatch running. One, two, three. So the transfer is running now. You can see here the progress. And we can also see the progress on the device itself, as you can see here. And you can see how long it will take for transferring this file. What we see already is that it takes a much longer time for transferring as uh, we were finished already by now on Huawei Share. So we can see that KD Connect takes a bit of longer time in sharing this 1.1 gigabyte big file. And now it stopped uh, at one minute and 36 seconds. This was KD Connect. So now we want to use Google Nearby Share. So I have my Xperia 5 Mark II and want to transfer this file over the same file of the same network to my Xperia 1 Mark II. So I click on Share here. I choose Nearby Share. It's looking for devices now. And in a few seconds it finds my device. I click here and then I have to accept. And of course I will have my stopwatch running this time on the Xperia 10 Mark II running Safefish, one, two, three. So I accepted the file and now the transfer is going and you can see there the progress eventually. And we can zoom in a little bit so it becomes more clear. So there's a the progress and we have, of course, the stopwatch here and we are like the 22nd mark already. I think by this time, Huawei Share was finished already, so it is a bit slower. Both in the same network, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And now it's transferred 36.88 seconds. It uh, roughly took for transferring the file. A small change of plans, as Snapdrop.net is not working for me for some reason, I uh, decided to switch to Share I.O. that you can see here, Share Drop I.O. And uh, this one is basically the same service. 
So what I can do is create a room here and then I have to use a QR code scanner on my phone and uh, I can do this with uh, Google Lens for example if it wouldn't ask too much questions. I never used that before as you can see and where's the QR code reader? I maybe just have to go to the yeah to the normal one and then it detects the link and I can click on it and it will take me direct to ShareDrop and on ShareDrop I can see now the other person and what I can do is now click on it and try sharing my files. I have to give it access for microphone for some reason. Okay, give it access and now I can choose my files and then I can choose our 1.1 gigabyte file here. I click on select. I have my stopwatch with me of course and I click on send. Let's start the stopwatch as well. I probably have to acknowledge it on a on a laptop first so let's reset the stopwatch and start one two three and now it's starting transferring the file and you can see it is pretty slow so probably I will pause this video and uh, show you the end result how long it will take it is already now longer than Huawei share and probably will take longer than KD connect and uh, Google nearby as well. So it's almost finished now at over seven minutes and uh, roughly 29 seconds which is pretty pretty high so it is not recommended for large file transfers at all but you have of course the advantage of using it on every niche operating system that has a browser with WebRTC support, Haiku, QNX, uh, Safish OS, uh, whatever you want to use because it is running in the browser. In general you can see Huawei Share was the quickest followed by Google Nearby Share and then came KD Connect. I think KD Connect could improve a little bit here and there and then last place is ShareDrop.io and similar features or similar uh, websites like Snapdrop as well. That's everything for this video. If you have some comments you can write them down in the comment section and uh, until the next time. Bye.